Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna find out can you upgrade your Asus VivoBook X510 solid state drive or RAM. Also you're gonna see what's going on inside of this laptop. You're gonna see how the motherboard looks like, how the battery looks like etc. And of course you're gonna see how you can open up this laptop. First things first you need a standard Phillips screwdriver and you have to remove all the screws from the back panel and bear in mind screws are some screws are different sizes so keep them separate so you know what order and where they go back to and there's a two little sneaky screws under the rubber pads you can use kind of a similar screwdriver what i have there to remove the rubber pads they're just glued in and remove the screws uh, under them Okay, once the screws are removed, you need uh, something plastic like I have there or whatever you have there in your house. Don't recommend using anything metal, you can just break your laptop or damage your hands even, God knows. So take it easy, it will come off. Now it took me about a minute and a half, maybe two minutes to get the back panel off. I presume this laptop was never opened before, so it, it was uh, resisting a little bit, so take your time. Okay, that's how the back panel looks now inside. And we have a bunch of cool news on this laptop now. Loads of upgrade options. You can upgrade RAM, you can upgrade solid state drive, you can upgrade hard drive. Great. It's all good news here. That's your battery now. I'm gonna leave some details in the description as well, so if you're looking for some parts or you're looking for RAM or hard drive, it's gonna be easier for you to find. That's your Wi-Fi card there. In a minute, we're gonna have a closer look as well, so you're gonna see the, all the parts in closer. That's your 2.5 hard drive solid state drive bay. I'm gonna upgrade that in a minute or upgrade, I'm just gonna add a hard drive for storage in there. And that's your M2 solid state drive. I'm not gonna upgrade this at the moment, but it is upgradable. And also I'm gonna leave the links in the description if you're looking to upgrade that. And there's your 2x4 DDR4 RAM slots. At the moment there's eight gigs installed. In a minute I'm gonna add another eight gigabyte to it. So in total this laptop will have 16 gigs of RAM. Okay, there's your closer look now. That's your battery now with the model number, serial number. Wi-Fi card, closer look now as well. That's your M2 drive now. And there's your two RAM slots. At the moment, as I said, there's eight gigs in it already. It's a pretty decent laptop as for upgrading, so it's future proof. You'll get at least three, four years out of it easily. I like the laptops where you can upgrade it. Both RAM and solid state drive, or this one now is even better. You can upgrade three of them. First things now, if you're gonna upgrade laptop uh, or disconnect RAM or add hard drive, whatever, disconnect battery itself from the motherboard. You kind of, there's a metal clip, you have to push it back and then you can just uh, disconnect the battery. You can do without it, but just for safety, I do recommend disconnecting it. And there's your DDR4 RAM now, eight gigs, as I said, in it. I'm gonna put that back and I'm gonna add additional 8 gigabyte in it. There it is, there's another 8 gigs now. So in total 16 gigabyte of DDR4 RAM this laptop will have. It's all great news. I 
okay, before I'm gonna upgrade 2.5 inch uh, hard drive or add another one, I'm gonna show you the M2 solid state drive, what's in it at the moment. I'm gonna leave this in it now, just to show you what's in it. There it is, it's the Toshiba drive, 256 gigabyte. I'm gonna leave links in description possible with possible upgrade options so you can go and find it yourself if you're looking for a bigger solid state drive. Or you can add 2.5 inch solid state state drive to this laptop, so it's up to you. And be before you're gonna actually remove the 2.5 inch caddy, you, you, you do need to remove M2 drive, so there it is, there's 500 gigabyte uh, kind of a spinning normal drive that's gonna go into it. This drive now will be strictly used for storage, like there will be no windows installed on it because they're slow enough now for operating system. And this fits nicely in there. You need four screws to secure that hard drive into the caddy. They don't come with the laptop so you have to purchase them yourself. There we go now, just we'll slide it back in and secure all the four screws now what's holding the caddy back in again. And as, as I said, generally it's a great laptop, loads of upgrade options and you can put your solid state drive back in it, M2 solid state drive, so... And we we're pretty much finished with upgrading. And one thing I do recommend before you're gonna put the back panel back again, make sure everything is connected and connected properly. If you upgraded your TDR4 RAM, make sure it's sitting nicely in the slot there. And of course, connect the battery in again. I made that mistake myself many times, left the battery disconnected and I had to open laptop again and connect the battery. So make sure everything is connected and good to go. So you can put the back panel back then. And pretty much the same way as you took it off, put the screws back in, rubber pads back in. You kind of have to push the back panel, it clips in nicely, you can hear it. Okay. And uh, that's it, as I said, upgrading is done. Hopefully this video was helpful for whoever is looking to see what's going on in inside of this laptop. What kind of TDR RAM you can fit into it, what kind of hard drive, what kind of solid state drive. So if it was helpful and you like the video press the thumbs up button and subscribe of course and you know what have a good life bye bye